Hello everyone, I'm here to show you how to play Morrowind on your Android tablet or your Android phones and also uh, what kind of experience you will get from playing on a tablet with a keyboard. So, uh, installing Morrowind is actually super easy. Uh, I was surprised how easy it was, but pretty much you just uh, download the game on let's say GOG or Steam, uh, then, you, then you copy the Morrowind folder to your uh, phone or tablet. Uh, it actually may take few hours because there's a lot of files and well it takes a lot so make sure you use the best cable you can so you don't actually uh, use USB 2 uh, so which would make it like three times slower. But after you've done that you pretty much just download um, OMW which is Open Microwave uh, from the Google Play Store, so there's nothing special. Uh, it's just on the Play Store, and you install it. And after you've, you've done, uh, you open it, and then uh, on the game files, you uh, click on the uh, cho uh, choose the uh, folder that uh, you have the Morrowind files in. And pretty much that's it. Uh, of course, you can adjust your uh, controls, uh, the on-screen con controls. Uh, I myself have actually uh, hidden some of these because I don't need uh, everything because I have keyboard, but I will show you what kind of uh, stuff you can get. Uh, I myself actually, uh, that you can use uh, 60 FPS, but I don't really uh, see the difference. Um, uh, there's some weirdness in the movement when you use, use tablet, so it doesn't really uh, make a difference and also I didn't use the max uh, view distance uh, because it did uh, crash once but that that was just when I used the max settings but yeah uh, when you have set uh, set this up you can just press here and then it loads okay so uh, the reason I want to play this is because well I have a keyboard and this kind of game is best played on keyboard but you can also see there's a um, uh, kind of the touch uh, circle here and I will explain to you shortly why I have to have that so yeah it works perfectly uh, so uh, why this is possible is because someone I don't know who uh, I could look it up but uh, some great person made an brand new engine for Morrowind and because of that uh, you are able to port the game to pretty much any machine that can take it uh, be it Raspberry Pi, uh, Android machines, I assume iPhones, I don't know if it's on iPhone or iPad but yeah it's, it probably is but yeah uh, pretty much this is also how you should play it because uh, the original engine is kind of buggy and it's lacking you cannot actually use widescreen properly uh, on the original game engine so you would uh, anyway use the open Morrowind engine uh, even on PC but yeah uh, let's load this up and you, as you can see it's pretty f uh, damn fast loading but yeah uh, I can mo uh, move with the keyboard right uh, I can jump I can use the uh, use the buttons uh, I could look in here I don't want to steal anything because they're gonna attack me but yeah as you can see, it's, uh, the buttons work perfectly, uh, but there's some weirdness. Uh, I will show you because, um, as you can see, I do have a touchpad, uh, and yeah, I can I can use it. But the problem is, uh, when I move the touchpad, at some point uh, it doesn't move uh, any more uh, left or right. It just uh, stops. Uh, at first I couldn't fi figure out why, maybe there's some option, but then I realized ho how this works. So actually when you are using the touch touchpad, you are using the mouse uh, cursor goes here. So uh, when it it's, uh, it's, uh, cannot go any further, the m mouse is here. So it cannot uh, literally cannot mo move any f further. And I assume that's something to do with Android. I don't know because uh, kind of the same thing goes with this you cannot move, move it any further than this but uh, of course you can do this and unfortunately even if you kind of 
uh, you use it like this, uh, it still doesn't move it. So uh, unfortunately, I have to use uh, the uh, touch screen to move the camera. But I think that's uh, still fine. Uh, I can still use the keyboard to move around and jump around and use the menu and items. Uh, I did uh, put my uh, weapons and kind of equipment uh, here uh, because it's a uh, bit easier. I may repine the uh, attack button to the keyboard because it's uh, I cannot really move at the same time and well I kind of can but I just, uh, well I cannot actually because if I try to move at the same time it just goes well not good but yeah so uh, yeah as you can see so I'm probably gonna uh, refine the attack key but uh, anyway it works perfectly uh, it actually works uh, more than surprisingly well because uh, well after all it is an old game and uh, it doesn't really take too much and because it's using the actual engine uh, well uh, it's uh, working well not actual but the new engine uh, it's working perfectly so it's not emulation or anything and actually uh, because it's using so much uh, so little power. Uh, this tablet is, doesn't get hot at all, so the battery life might even be like almost 10 hours. I haven't tested, but even with uh, gaming this, I could probably get 10 hours. So, yeah. Uh, in my opinion, this is uh, amazing, and you can of course play this on your phone, but it's uh, I, I don't really like using it like this, so maybe if you have controllers, uh, which probably will work and I do have uh, a controller for my phone so I may actually make a video about that but there has already been few videos on phones and but I didn't see any videos on playing on tablet so uh, I figured I'd make one but uh, but I, I will I might make a video about how, how, uh, how it is to play on controller but yeah uh, and this is excellent game because um, many mobile games are kind of lacking and well you could play emulator games but uh, which is fine of course uh, those are uh, like PlayStation 1 maybe even some PlayStation 2 games although they are emulation is still not there but but yeah you can get some good gameplay experience but I never figured out uh, or never imagined that I would be able to play Morrowind like this on a tablet or a phone so uh, this is pretty much amazing <laughs> amazing thing like uh, when I was like 13 years old I was playing this game and uh, well now I can take this uh, with me anywhere and I could technically even put this on my phone and literally play this anywhere so so yeah but yeah um, there's actually a few more things uh, with the keyboard like um, I have uh, find that the run a button to caps lock uh, because if I uh, let's say if I put put it on, on the shift uh, well first of all it, uh, um, it would gi uh, give me not an error message but a message uh, that, that uh, I'm holding shift or something uh, something to do with language but I can disable that but problem is when I hold hold the shift and I jump uh, actually now it doesn't well, no, no, I did. So I hold the sweep uh, and I jump, uh, then it stops. Uh, so there's some weirdness. I just uh, stops the movement. And same goes with the uh, control. Uh, so uh, if I hold, it's, uh, hold the control, uh, it sometimes stops the movement when I'm when I'm jumping. And also, it also changes my language. So. Uh, that's something you have to keep in mind. So I, uh, I just uh, put the run button on caps lock and that's fine. Uh, I just had to <laughs> remember to put the caps locks on, on off again. So, but yeah, uh, this was quick video. Uh, hopefully this uh, gives you an idea what kind of experience you may get from uh, playing Morrowind on your tablet or phone. Uh, it should pretty much run on any mo modern phone uh, because it doesn't really 
take um, too much power. Uh, I would say probably uh, phones with at least four gigs of RAM, but more possibly I could work on uh, two gigs. But I don't know any uh, what kind of Android version it requires. But I would figure uh, something like Samsung S7 will be still fine. Maybe a S6. I don't know. But yeah. Uh, yeah, it doesn't, the game doesn't cost too much. You can always get the student version uh, and just uh, move the files and t try it out, and you will see if, uh, if it works. But yeah, uh, for tablet, uh, it uh, works perfectly. It's uh, excellent uh, to play on tablet, almost like uh, playing on a PC. And uh, it's even though I have to use the touch uh, screen a little bit, uh, it's still fine. Uh, uh, actually, I would say this is a little bit better than using touchpad uh, because touchpad is not really the uh, best to use uh, on FPSs. Also, the buttons on this touchpad does not work too well, so I guess this is the better option anyway. And uh, with just one hand in the corner, uh, it's it's fine. Uh, it doesn't really hinder too much, and I can still uh, I use the keyboard to move and jump. But yeah, um, uh, I mean, that's for that. Uh, thank you watch for watching, and I'll possibly release a video about uh, playing this on a phone. But yeah, bye.